Hello and welcome to another positive travel guide from Charlie and Tabs. Tabs is on a tour of Asia and he's just touched down in Terengganu. And on this video we're showing you around the Giyong Arena Resort. And if you want to see more of our videos from Asia, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And please do comment below. We like to know all about your trips and adventures. This hotel is very popular with guests visiting this part of the world. And one of the reasons being is that you can get a really good value room here. You can book a room here for around about £32 per night, which is excellent value for money. If you want to push the boat out, there are other types of rooms here, like rooms and suites. And there's also a royal suite. As you can see, it's not great, the weather, when Tab was here. And you can see the marina in the distance there. That is a popular place where people can get married. That's the marina garden. Somebody out there has left their bag right in the middle, ready for someone to fall over it. This is the reception area by the looks of it, and it looks very nice indeed. Quite a few steps there, so maybe not uh, wheelchair friendly. And you'll see lots of these signs throughout the resort. which means glory be to God, which is one of the translations of that saying, which I'm not even going to attempt to say because I'll get it wrong. There's another one there as well, with a different saying. And that one means God is great. I love this. This is like a, a duplex tree house room. which again can be booked for around about £150 a night when I was looking. Great value for money. In fact, the Royal Suite was only £300 a night. More details on the hotel can be found in the description box below. But there's the pool. not too far away from where it's all happening there's a gym as well for those that like to do that this is somewhere where you wouldn't find me unless they start serving cakes in the gym then i might go in then and here's somewhere for children to play. A bit of an adventure playground. There's also a big field here as well, where there's lots of activities as well. And we're taking another view of the pool. There are plenty of places to go and visit when you're here. If you fancy going around different mosques. There are lots of mosques nearby and all magnificent places to visit. The Crystal Mosque is around six miles away and the Kuala Terengganu Drawbridge is well worth a visit, well worth seeing and that's around five miles away. There's a cultural village, there's also some night markets which are very near within walking distance and Chinatown is around about four miles away. We'll have a look shortly in the room that Tabs was staying in. More of these rooms here. There are four different types of rooms here. There's a duplex room, which we're looking at right now. There's the executive deluxe room, a normal deluxe room, and of course the royal suite, which we've mentioned before, with a four poster bed, fit for a king and a queen or a couple of kings, or a couple of queens. Let's have a look now then at the room Tabs was staying in. Lots of wood, great polished floors. Love this, 
Isn't this lovely? What a great room. Flat screen TV, nice furniture, and of course the garden view balcony. With of course views of the sea and the marina in the distance. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Again, looks like a spacious walk-in shower there. Tea and coffee making facilities. Great views of the palm trees from the window. This looks like another balcony, so plenty of balcony space. Very nice indeed. So we leave the room now and we head back into the grounds. Again, plenty of places to walk around and to enjoy. Mature gardens, palm trees, little places where you can go and hide away. As we go towards the little beachy area down here, Of course, the marina part of the complex. And we'll have a look in a moment as well at the place where people would book to get married. I'll do place. They've got function rooms here as well, which can be hired. And of course, restaurants and places to eat. The main restaurant here is the Veranda Restaurant which is open every day from 7am till 11pm, serving breakfast, lunch and dinner. And it's fully air-conditioned as well. And as we walk towards the marina, can you imagine getting married here with the views? Just imagine the sun is shining. Great place, and that in the distance you can see is the Terengganu drawbridge, which is definitely worth a visit. There's also a cafe here called Bites Cafe, which is open every day from 7 a.m. until 12 midnight with beautiful views of the drawbridge. And you can have the taste of a local breakfast here from as low as three Malaysian Rignit, which is actually about 50p. They do some great wedding packages here as well, uh, so well worth checking out uh, as well if you're getting married, of course. Tabs is on the back of a little buggy here. Looks like a nicer day. So he's having a good look round. I like these little picnic areas outside every single room. Great, and plenty of areas to relax and play. And of course there's the main car park and the main hotel building. When you do check into this hotel they do take you on the back of a buggy straight to your room. And 
there is the little buggy, off it goes. And there it is. What a grand entrance to this grand hotel. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if of course you want to. sun is about to set so let's have a look at these lovely images And the sun's about to set on this video as well. I'm going to leave you with the sounds of a call to prayer and also the relaxation sounds of the water. Enjoy. Bye for now.